What's up everybody? IFBB Pro Seth Frosty coming at you with a shoulder training video. Uh, this workout is very intense. This workout that I'm doing, I'm not moving too heavy a weight. However, this workout is something a great way to switch up your workouts, to change it up, have a good time, and still get great growth out of it. And this is a fucking pump workout. You will be so full, it will hurt. And it's great. So make sure that you're hydrated, make sure that you got your subs ready, make sure that everything's good, you're ready, ate good today, and get to work. Just because you're not moving that the crazy heavy weight doesn't mean you can't get a fucking killer workout. So, with all my workouts, you see me uh, start out with warming up. I say warm up, get a good sweat rolling. I do dynamic stretching in the beginning of all my, all my workouts. Uh, dynamic stretching just means I'm moving while I stretch. You see me, you'll see me pick up the plates, you'll see me just swing my arms around. The whole goal is to warm up the body part that I'm about to start working. Whenever I say get a good sweat rolling, the whole concept with everything, whether here we're doing shoulders or chest, I want that body part to be warmed up so that whenever you hit the first exercise, you are there. There's no more warming up. That first exercise is full steam right the fuck ahead. So right here I'm doing some my warm up with uh, some lighter Arnold presses. The whole goal is, is I'm old now. I'm not 25 years old, so I need to make sure that everything feels good, everything's warm. Um, I am a huge believer in routine for warming up, stretching. Uh, you know, in my workouts, like I've said before, if you're not feeling it, move on. But with this. First exercise out of the gate that we got going on is side laterals. With this workout, I went with how I felt, and I am just doing as many reps as humanly possible. That is my goal here. So, push myself to failure, push more, so much blood into my shoulders that it just hurts. So, first one out of the gate, we got side laterals. You'll see me, as I'm doing the side laterals, I start putting the dumbbells in front of me and raising them out to my sides, and then, you'll see me bring the dumbbells out to my hip area and start lifting them up. When I'm doing this, you'll see me stretch. The whole goal here is to hit my shoulders from different angles. Then I bend over and I start doing some rear delts. So I just did a 30 rep set. I did side laterals with the dumbbells in front of me. I did side laterals with the handles to my hips. And then I bent over and did some rear delts, 30 reps. The whole goal is to hit my shoulder from every possible angle throughout this workout so that every part of my shoulder begins to round off. And you start lighter, pyramid up in weight as you go. I am, my goal here is to get 30 reps. 10, 10, and 10, take a break. 10, 10, and 10, take a break. 10, 10, and 10, take a break. Again, push as much blood as possible. We're not too worried about moving the weight because on another workout or wherever throughout the, throughout the month that you got here, we can move heavier weight. But this one here, focus on the blood flow. Focus on the isolation of visualizing that huge round shoulder. The other thing with this type of, with this type of workout, it is to get you out of your normal groove. Everybody falls into somewhat of a, not a rut, but you fall into a groove and you don't really get out of it. And then you find yourself not really changing too much. You find yourself not really uh, stepping outside of your comfort zone and finding a way to progress. You end up plateauing. This is a great workout to switch shit up to get you to start to do some different things and activate your muscles in a different manner. Because everybody can do shoulder presses first, side laterals second. You can... It, it, Get outside of your comfort zone and start doing some different shit. All right, next after that, I moved into the machine shoulder press. Again, machine shoulder press, I love this machine. This is probably my favorite shoulder press machine that uh, I use at any gym out there. It's a great way to isolate the front delts. Um, you'll see me not go all the way up. I usually do half to three quarter reps. I have found for my shoulder development, the mind-muscle connection for me, I have found that this right here has activates the most growth. Uh, after this, again, I'm working on high repetition. So right after I get done doing my shoulder presses, I work right into the side laterals here. And with these side laterals, 
Again, it's all about angles. If anybody has this machine at their gym, it's very easy to manipulate from different angles or pull from a different way with your hands. You'll see me. Do this, everybody. Try, whenever you're doing this, pull with your pinkies. Pull with the outsides of your palms and pull up. After that, start to pull with your index finger and your ring, index and middle finger, index, middle finger, and thumb, and you're going to realize that it's hitting you from a different angle. Just by simply placing your hands in different places, you'll see it hit differently. And just right back at it. So rest periods between everything that I'm typically doing, uh, it will vary. In the beginning of my workouts, it'll end up being a little bit shorter. As the workout progresses, they might end up being a little bit longer. However, this is something that you control. If you want to go harder, go fucking harder. If you need a little bit more of a break, take a little bit more of a break. But understand, this is your workout and you're in control. But also, keep in your head, don't be a fucking pussy. Push yourself outside of your comfort zone, but just stay, just stay aware of how hard and how far you can push yourself, if that makes any sense. It's something that, to push yourself hard, you got to make sure you're hydrated. Make sure that you, got, you ate enough. you got to make sure that you're, you're on point. You can't... You can't shortchange yourself. However, you can't also just be complacent about it. When it comes to sets and reps, uh, again, I'm I go by strictly how I feel. Uh, if I'm if something's working for me, I'm fucking rolling with it. If it's not working for me and I don't feel it, I'm just going to move on because what's the point of doing it if I'm not feeling it? But be honest with yourself. Don't bullshit yourself and say, "Oh no, that's not it." On this type of workout, it's a great way to add in drop sets and just push yourself. You could do drop sets, 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 just absolutely annihilate yourself. That's the goal here. But, but you don't have to use the crazy weight. Use the moderate to lighter weight as a switch up from your normal, from your normal grooved routine that you fall into. Right after that, I moved into something different. Rather than use a barbell, rather than use dumbbells, I switched into plates. Play, I uh, usually don't, don't do too many uh, 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 plate raises. However, it's a great switch up. And after doing this in this workout, I realized that I actually really, really fucking like them. <laughs> so I did the front plate raises here. And then right after that, I had myself set up to use the 25 pound plates to do some uh, side delt raises. Again, pushing as much blood from different angles. Using the plate, ra the plates, all it does is it just gives a different pull on your shoulders. I mean, as I can see from the, the, the dumbbells that we did earlier in the workout compared to this, you can see it pull differently on my, on my arms. And immediately after that, 
went and grabbed the 10-pound dumbbells or the 10-pound plates and started doing some front raises. Now, I have no scripted routine for exactly how I'm going to do this. You'll see me do a bunch of different things and it was all how I felt, okay? Because I'm feeling it as I'm doing it. I'm staying conscious of what I'm doing and pushing myself. You see how I'm holding the plates. You'll see sometimes whenever my wrist goes limp and lets the weight hang in front of my hand, sometimes I hold the, hold the, uh, the plate straight out in front of me. Again, the goal here is to hit from every single different angle and feel it. Probably took about a, a, about a minute, minute to a minute and 15 second rest and went right back after this shit. Again, shorten the rest periods, adds more intensity to your workout. But to do so, so you don't shit the fucking bed here, you need to make sure that you're hydrated, you got a good pump drink, you got your amino acids, and you ate good. You can't be, you, you can't neglect any parts of those. You can't expect to have a killer workout if you're not up on all that shit. So again, plate raises. Front with a 45 pound plate, right into the 25s. Start doing your sides. Again, you'll see my hands. See how my hands are holding the, uh, the plates with a little bit of a limp wrist? That's the different pull that you're achieving with this, okay? And that's the benefit because it's not, it's any physics people out there, it's, it's, it's very simple. It's just pulling from, it's a different gravitational pull. I'm not a fucking scientist, but it sounds good. Uh, but again, all you have to do is just pick it up and you'll feel the difference. And immediately after that, go grab the tens, start doing your fronts, your sides, hit your shoulders from every single fucking angle. Again, you'll see me, I grab, the, I grab the plates from the center now. You'll see that it's a little bit lighter when you grab it from the center. However, that should give you the opportunity to do much more reps. Simple as that. And as you can see, this whole time, my shoulders just continue to fill up with blood from the angles that I'm doing each individual rep at. After that, I just moved straight into the 25 pound front raises. Again, watch my wrists. See how I'm holding the weight. Something as simple as changing on how you're holding the weight is going to hit your shoulders from a different angle. That's all it is. That's all this is. This is not rocket science, ladies and gentlemen. It's just hard fucking work and paying attention and just doing little tips and tricks and different things to get your body to start to act, to start to grow in a way that you've been wanting it to. There you go, you see, you see me how I lean myself a little bit forward? I lean myself a little bit forward so I can get that squeeze. Look at the front delt and watch how it pops at the top, okay? Whenever you're standing straight up with, with your back straight up, it's different than whenever you have a little bit of a lean. There it is, a little bit of a lean. Starting to do some individuals, yep, that's it. You gotta push yourself. You have to get outside of your comfort zone, and go to work. And we can't neglect the rear delts. Again, sticking with the plates on the rear delts. Again, the whole, different, whole reason is, is just hitting from a different angle. Whenever you're doing these, look at the range of motion. It's not very large. The whole goal here is to make sure that we do not activate your traps 
or your lats or your back because if you activate that that's going to take all the weight and take all the tension off of your rear delts and put it on a larger muscle group because the larger muscle group will want to take over so with this again you'll see me you'll see me slightly move my arms out slightly move my arms forward whole goal is to hit that rear delt and get that son of a bitch to scream so be mindful of it plate 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 raises are a great way to switch things up um I use the 25s, you could use the 25s, the 35s, um, you know, whatever, the 10s, I don't give a fuck. The goal here, you want to feel, if you're not feeling your rear delts, you ain't working the motherfuckers, plain and simple. And most people are not genetically gifted to have very large rear delts, so take the time to do this shit right. Just don't go do an exercise as thinking because you saw someone else do it. Feel it. Feel it. You have to. If you're not, it's not working great exercise you can do these from the seated position as well but with the plates and how I'm holding it it's a little more difficult to do so again this would be another way to switch this exercise up would be see how I'm holding where I'm holding the plates if you put your hands through the plate holes in the center it'd be a different angle it'd be hitting it from a slightly different angle because you're holding it the weights pulling a little bit differently that's fine go to town try new shit out people this is the beauty of fucking bodybuilding in the gym. It's your body, build that motherfucker. Right after the plates for rear delts, we went into some face pulls. Now this is an exercise in which you'll see a ton of people do differently. I have my own variation of it. The reason I have my own variation of it is simply because of how I feel it in my rear delts. The goal is to hit your rear delts. So whenever I'm doing it, this exercise, how I keep my head down and switch and then put right there, you see it. The goal is, is when I'm doing this exercise, I am visualizing me hitting a rear double bicep. I'm seeing myself pull it down and come back up and hit that rear double by. And right after that, I'm supersetting it with reverse pec deck. This is a little bit of an awkward reverse pec deck machine. It's a different machine. If you have this one here, be mindful of the range of motion of it, okay? You'll see, you'll be able to see and place your hands in different variations on the, on the, uh, the handles there. So. Try it out. There you go. You just saw me reposition my hands. This time I'm doing reverse pec deck first. Move into the uh, face pulls after that. The whole goal here is there is no written way to fucking do things perfect. The whole goal is to try shit new, try new shit, and just push yourself. If you apply yourself, it's going to work. and right back into the face pulls. Again, this is a different variation. Give them a try. You will feel your lats activate, but whenever I'm doing this, I am pulling with my pinkies, uh, with my the outside of my hand. I'm, I'm visualizing pulling with my pinkies because when I do so, I'm able to feel it a little bit better in my rear delts and visualize that rear double bicep. That's all I'm seeing this whole time while I'm doing that exercise. It's all I'm thinking about. That's how I get the connection with it and go right back at this shit. Again, whole goal is to stay connected with your rear delts. This is a next, this is a body part that, it's a trouble body part for everybody because I don't, I haven't met too many people that have phenomenal genetics for rear delts. <laughs> so you gotta work for them. And then to finish off the workouts, we're gonna do some cable side laterals, cable front raises, and we're hitting the shoulder from every single angle. And as you can see, rather than just go piston style on everything, I'll do some negatives, I'll throw some different variations and different techniques in there. But the concept here is finishing off and rounding the shoulders off. 
the shoulders are one of the most used body parts in everything that we do. So they're hard to get to grow. They're hard to get to make perfect. It's We want to be able to just throw some clay on there and give us these big ass caps. Work these sons of bitches from every different angle possible. Just your body placement of leaning over slightly or leaning into it slightly will change how it hits your side delts or rear delts or front delts. Okay? There is no perfect way to do things because you'll see jack motherfuckers doing it every different way you need to find out what works for you and with this workout this is one of my workouts where again i just went in and i had and i had a bug up my ass and i said let's do something different because i need to get out of my little funk that i fell into that little groove that we all fall into but that's it go into the fucking gym with the fury don't fucking bullshit yourself. Don't say, I got to do this and I got to do that. Go in there and have a good time. This is a type of workout where you're like, I'm just going to fucking go and go and go and go until I can't fucking go no more. And that's the goal. Have a good time. Exhaust yourself and go fuck shit up. <laughs>